Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be planning in my Hobonichi Cousin right now. I've already put the washi down at the bottom to save a little time. This is the washi tape that I used. It came in a bundle from like Hobby Lobby or something like that. It doesn't have a brand name on the inside, so I don't know what brand it is. But I'm pretty sure that it came in a bundle from there. So I had some leftover stickers from a previous kit that I've had a while. And I just want to try to use some things up. So I basically have this kit that has these like fall looking colors, but I figured the brown and stuff is fine because it's winter. And I have all these few little stickers here and there that I just want to use up. So I'm just gonna use all of these and like make this spread work. Okay. So I have this one long washi strip here. I'm just going to stick it at the bottom and overlap it just to give it a little extra something something. Some extra feeling going on in there just to use that sticker. I have this little corner sticker I'm going to put over here to tie that in as well. So now I have that going on to tie these colors in together. I think they match really well with that washi that I picked. And I'm just going to, let's see if this fits in there. Oh, it does, look at that. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna stick this on Sunday. I'm gonna write a little to-do or something in there. Balance out the page a little bit. I'm gonna have this sticker, I might as well use it too, because I'm trying to use up all these stickers. So maybe I'll make this my to-do list for the week. Put it on this side and to light it up so that it is straight. There we go. And I'll make that my to-do list for the week. So I got a little decor down and I have all these tiny little stickers. I think I'm just gonna stick them up here to be decorative. I'm just trying to use up pages, use up the sticker. So this one's empty, so I can throw that out. I have another little sticker here. I can just keep going. I have a little piece of washi here. I can stick that right here. So I have all kinds of little things. Here's a flower. Grab this one and stick it up here. And the more I find, I'm just gonna stick them in random places to take up that extra space up there. Here's a little washi strip again where I pulled it off of something. I'll just stick it down just for some decoration. Oh, well, it's crooked a little bit. Um, I have some more of these up here. Here's a tiny little piece of washi I'll stick here. I'll grab my tweezers, this is getting. My hands are cold because it's kind of cold today. Stick that here. I have these flowers. I'm just gonna keep sticking them in places just to make that look kind of like full, full up there and filled in. Here's another page I've emptied. This is all from Paper Co. So again, just filling it all in with all the little scraps that I have. Looking through here and see if I have any more. That's pretty much it. So. That's what I have to stick in. So that looks pretty good up there at the top. I wish I had a little something right there. Maybe I'll find something as I'm looking, but I don't see anything else for up there. Oh, here's a tiny little piece of green that I had extra sticking there. So I'll cut that down and stick it in that spot. There we go. And it'll take up that blank spot. There we go. So now everything's all filled in. And it is decorated up there and I've used all of those spare stickers that I had. Okay. I will put this remember sticker down as my to-do list. Um, put it right here or here. Yeah, and it'll be like what I write in there is the stuff I need to remember to do. I have this little washi strip here that I can use. Trim the edge down so it's straight. 
And I will lap this over here. Need to take a little bit more off to make it even. Put this down on the weekend. Put it right there because I'm probably going to sleep in then. And I'll put my weekend sticker on top of that if I can find one. Because I'm just trying to use up all of these stickers. Here's another one that says noted. I'm going to stick it in here. Maybe on top of this. There we go. So have some layering going on and then have some white space still there. Alright. And I've got this box here. I'm just going to stick it somewhere random in here. There we go. Because just take up a chunk of time. And then I have these boxes. And I will put these boxes randomly throughout here. And they will be in the afternoon times, like after I get off work. And then we'll have little boxes everywhere. There we go. Another one here. And I have some smaller ones. Oh, that one's crooked, crooked. Let me pull that one up. There we go. I don't mind it being a little bit crooked, but I don't want it to be substantially crooked. Put some on the weekend. Just to make it look pretty. Pretty, pretty. There we go. So we have some of that going on. I've got these arrow stickers. I will stick these in here in random places. It's four o'clock and I get out to 4.30, so stick this here. And I have these like dot stickers. How many of these dot, I have a lot of these dot stickers. I think I'll put these up here to write what if it's A or B day for my work. And I have a white pen I can use to write on it. So this one is empty. I can put that page out. I only need five of them and that's what I've got. And I have these two little ones. I will stick them on the page with the other little ones and then this page is gone. And my white pen, where is that? Let me go grab that, I'll be right back. Sorry about the wait, I have two white pens that I can write A and B day up here. Let me see which one it's actually going to be. Um, let me check my work planner real quick. And see if it's A or B day. Because I have to see what was the last day that we did. A day was Friday, so it'll be B day. So we will start with B day this week. Let me get this started. I'll write on one of these dots to see how it looks. Looks pretty good. Because I'm probably not going to use these dots. So it's kind of like seeing which pen that I prefer to use. Hmm. This one is more white, but this one like, um, is finer point. So I think I'm gonna use the Jelly Roll. This is the Jelly Roll point eight. So this will be B day, A day, 
B day, A day, B day, right? So I have those, those will need to dry. That's why I went ahead and wrote on them now because they take a significant amount of time to dry. Let's see, groceries, laundry, put these on the weekend. Laundry, groceries, I need to do these on these days. So I'll put them in. Plan, definitely need to plan on this day. Oops, let's get it straight. Plan, and then to do, I'll put that in here. We'll be on to do list. And this will always also be my clean house day. So I'll fill that in, that sticker. And I will label this one for work. I'll cover up the word noted and put in work. So that'll be the stuff I need to do for work that week. five of these. Let's see if they actually fit in here. I don't know if they will. Let's find out. They do actually. Kind of. They are close to fitting in. If I want to use these, I can use these and use them up. So I have five of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them in and use them up. So it'll make life a little easier just to translate these out. So I don't have to keep subtracting 12. <laughs> and I have one for each day of the week for work. And that's the only part that I care about the time. That was a little bit higher than the other page. No, oh, well, I'm not pulling it up. There we go for that one. Have one more. I just won't use that one because I don't need to put that on the weekend. There we go for that. So we have all of that today. Um, I don't have a thing for meals on here. Let's just actually have a little tracker of some sort that I can throw in. Hmm. There's a habit tracker here, but I don't want to use that one. I have these I can use. I have some numbers. Do I have the correct numbers? No, I do not have all of the correct numbers, unfortunately. I have these little strips here. Maybe I'll use these for my work instead of highlighting. I'll put these right above the eight o'clock and then I'll just continue them. Well, if I can get them to stay down. Cut it right there. So that'll there and I'll use 
is the burgundy color on this side to signify work. There we go. And for the point of just continuing it, I'll go ahead and use the other strip. all of this strip for that. This one is actually the compact vertical or whatever, but here is the weekend one. Weekend sticker, I'll just stick it down right here. I'm trying to put it up to the top of that, so let me use my tweezers to make that work out. There we go, so we have the weekend sticker labeled it that direction. See how that works out. I'm not going to use this sticker here, but I would like to use this flower. So let me cut this out right here. Then I'm just going to trim around this a little bit. Nothing crazy. So I can stick this sticker down. And this is basically how I reuse like leftover stickers. So if I can get the backing off, that'd be a miracle because I didn't think about how I'm going to get the backing off. Should I take the backing off first? It should come off. There we go. And then I wanted something to cover up this big gap right here. So I'm going to stick that there. And that will work for that. Let's see if we have anything else. Are these small enough to go in here? Let's find out. No, they are not. I mean, I could cut them and they work. Let's see. They're small enough now. A smidge more. Yep, they work now. So now I can see ours and I can put another couple of stickers in here to write on. Cut them down a smidge. Actually, this one's a little crowded over here. I think I'm gonna move it over here. There we go. Get a little more color on that side of the page. Make sure these little tiny strips stay stuck down. They do want to stay stuck for. There we go. Anything else that I can put in here? Let me check. Where are these dots? Probably not gonna keep the leftover kits after this. So these are all just gonna get trashed. Um, the ones that have like a couple of stickers left. These will get trashed. I don't think I'm going to use these black dots for anything. So I'm going to trash that. Um, I have a couple of these left. But I don't know that I need these for anything. And let's see. I'm going to keep the today sticker. Let's see. I'm going to put this right here, just to put it there. I bet I don't think I need either of these stickers. I'm probably not going to use them. So I'll toss those. These I will keep. Um, probably not going to use any of these stickers, so probably will toss these. So if I see any place that I would like to stick anything now. I mean, I have the mill things here, but I just don't think I'm going to use them. I mean, I can stick them randomly on here, but there would be no point for that. So I don't think I'm gonna use the rest of these. I don't think I'll use the numbers because they don't line up with anything really. So I'm gonna throw that because I'm trying to like downsize 
trash day meals payday. I don't get paid on any of these days, but I will keep this for another time because I still have lots of stickers on here. So I am done with that. So that kit is good to go. I have it all on here, everything that I need. So I was able to stretch that and make it last a little bit. So that is good. So here is my layout for this spread. And you can see like how I use leftover stickers from leftover kits that I wasn't gonna use otherwise. And I just made the spread work. So this is how, and they weren't even made for this planner. So like some of the stickers fit because they were part of the planner size, but the rest of them, I just made them work. So this is an example of how you can just take random stickers and you can make a spread. You don't have to buy sticker kits or you can stretch a sticker kit for like a future time. So um, this is kind of how I did it. If I see any of those stickers I wanna keep, I'll put it in my reusable sticker album, but I don't think that I see any that I wanna keep. So this will be the last time I use this one. So I hope you liked the plan with me. The only thing left that I have to do is I have to put work up here. And I think I have some work stickers. So let me grab those real quick because I'm not quite done. So one moment because I have to figure out where I stuff those stickers that say work. So give me one moment. Because I do need to stick the work stickers down. And I think I know where they're at, but I'm not entirely sure. So give me one moment. I think I have them stuck in here. Bear with me for a second. I think they're in here somewhere. Yep, here we go. So what I will do, I'll take five of these and they will just go right here. So that is the one thing I have left to do that I forgot about. There are no holidays for the rest of this month, so I don't have any days off. Hopefully there won't be any snow days, and if there is, I still have one class that's in a different state, so their classes don't get canceled, so I'll still have partial work day. So there are my work stickers, and I need to put some arrows on um, to make that work out. So let me do that real quick, and then we'll be good to go. Where is my pen? Okay, pen, ruler, and I work till 4.30 from 8 to 4.30. So, it's about in here. I'm gonna just put a little line. And we'll just keep doing that for the rest of the week. There we go. Just so now I have work in there. And then my lunchtime is at like almost two o'clock. I don't feel like that's right. Yeah, I guess it is. Is it like 2.30 ish? So we'll put lunch here. there is when I get to eat lunch. So I have to make sure I have a little something for breakfast because otherwise I will not get to eat until really late. So it is really important in my work week that I grab something for breakfast, even though I'm really bad about not grabbing something for breakfast. I don't know if you guys are like that, but I am. So here is for real this time, my final spread, sticking all my stuff back where it goes. And this is what it's gonna look like for my Hobonichi cousin. I'll give you a flip through back for last week and the week before. And then this is the first. So this is when I started using it. I didn't use it before that because that was the first week. So there we go. And um, I'm looking forward to starting this week because it's gonna be February. And I have my kit already picked out for that. 
So I'm excited about that. And then the week before Valentine's will be Valentine's Day themed. And the week of Valentine's will be Valentine's Day themed. Actually, the week before Valentine's will not be Valentine's Day themed. It will be Lunar New Year themed. So I already have the kit for this from the Coffee Monster Co. I'm excited. This is the kit for this. Um, week. So I only need one more week. And next week we're going to be using this kit with the books on it. I really like the books from Planner Cake. So that'll be that week. So this week I wanted to just use up some leftovers because I'm going to be using kits for the next two or three weeks. So, all right. I hope you guys liked it. Like and subscribe. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I will see you next time. Bye.